Hi everybody, it's really good to see you. It's Alex here, hi. And my wonderful assistant Erin, she's gonna help me today as we're gonna hear all about a story from the Bible. How exciting is that? Now this story came to mind because it's been raining this week. Has it been raining where you are? Have you been splashing in muddy puddles? Yeah, fantastic. Nothing better than splashing yeah. in muddy puddles. Mommy. Yep. We splashed in mummy puddles. We splashed in muddy puddles. I hope you did too. And we're going to sing a song and hear a story all about when there was so much rain that it covered the whole earth. Can you imagine? But we're going to sing the song first and you might know it. It's called The Animals Came In Two By Two. And we've got some instruments here that sound a little bit like rain. Can you hear Erin? Erin's got some shakers. What do yours do, Erin? Can you shake them? Yeah, fantastic. Doesn't that sound like lots and lots of rain? Okay, shall we sing our song? Are you ready? Have you got something that you could make sound like rain? Or maybe you could make some rainy fingers. Fantastic. If you're ready, you will sing. And it's called The Animals Went In Two By Two. Okay, let's start. The animals went in two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in two by two, the elephant and the kangaroo. And they all went into the earth for to get out of the rain. The animals went in three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in three by three, the wasp, the ant and the bumblebee. And they all went into the earth, for to get out of the rain. The animals went in four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in four by four, the great hippopotamus stuck in the door, and they all went into the yard, for to get out of the rain. The animals went in five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The animals went in five by five, by hunting each other, they all kept alive, and they all went into the yard. For to get out of the rain. Well done, some super singing there. We were a bit distracted because there's a train station just there and we like watching the trains, don't we, Erin? Okay, so we're going to hear a story now all about the animals going into the ark and how God got involved. Many years ago, there was a wonderful, kind man named Noah. He loved God and trusted him very much. But most people, they weren't like Noah. They were mean and unkind to one another, and that made God really sad. People's disobedience made God sad too. One day, God said something really strange to Noah. He asked him to build him a really big boat, like big enough to fit every animal in the world in. And he said that it was going to rain for a really long time and the whole earth would be covered in water. Uh, how do I build a boat that big? Noah asked God. God told Noah exactly how to build a boat. And, God, and Noah did exactly what God told him to do. The boat was enormous. It was longer than a football pitch. The boat was so big that elephants and tigers and turtles and dogs and cats and guinea pigs and every kind of animal could fit inside it. It must have been a very noisy and a very smelly boat. After all the animals and Noah and his family were in the boat, God shut the door for him. 
it began to rain. And it began to rain for 40 whole days. It didn't stop raining. All the land, all the trees, all the mountains were completely covered in water. But Noah's family and the animals in the boat all stayed safe and dry. Noah and his family trusted in God and followed him and God saved them from the flood. Noah, his family and all the animals were in the boat for a really long time. A really, really long time. Because even after the rain stopped, the water was still covering the earth. That must have been a smelly and noisy boat. I bet everybody really wanted to get out and play and to see their friends and to run around but they couldn't. They trusted God that he would keep them safe and they stayed in the boat until he told them to come out. A few times Noah opened a window and he let a bird go to see if there was any dry land. One day the bird came back with a green leaf in his mouth. Noah knew that this meant that there was dry land outside and they could finally leave. Everyone was so excited they could finally get out of that smelly, noisy boat. When they left the boat, God put a huge rainbow in the sky as a sign, a sign that he would never again flood the whole earth and as a reminder that he would always keep us safe. Noah trusted God and God kept them safe. Amen. Wasn't that a great story? I love hearing about how God kept Noah and his family safe from the big flood by telling him what to do. I love hearing how Noah obeyed him and kept his family safe. While we've been going out splashing in muddy puddles, we've also been spotting rainbows in people's windows. Did you notice there was a rainbow in that story? Well, the rainbows we've been spotting in people's windows, some of them look a little bit like this one that Big Bear's holding. And they're a very special symbol about how God looks after us and how he takes care of us even when things are a bit scary. We love spotting rainbows. Have you been spotting rainbows too? Well, maybe next time you see a rainbow, think about how much God loves you and takes care of you. And remember that God promises to look after you. Noah believed that God loved him and his family and he believed that God would take care of them. Noah loved God and he obeyed him, even though what God asked seemed a little crazy at first. God kept his promises and he kept Noah and his family safe. God does the same thing for us too. And he loves us and he tells us to obey him, to follow him, and he promises to watch over us. He loves to take care of us. Isn't that great? How about we pray? Let's put our hands together and say, Dear Lord, thank you for taking care of me. I know that you love me and watch out for me. I want to obey you because I love you. Amen. Well, it's been a fantastic day. I've loved sharing this story with you. I hope you have a fantastic week before we meet again. Have a good week. Bye.